Good morning, Floss Tube. It is the last day of April, Monday morning, April 30th, and I want to talk about stitch mania because I had no clue what stitch mania involved, and I had some sweet floss tubers get in touch with me on my channel to give me some ideas about what you can do for Mania, even if you are not a member of that Facebook group. And I want to thank everyone who gave me their ideas, their feedback on Mania and how they had participated or not in the past. And I think I am going to adopt Dina of Half Stitch Cross Stitch. Hi Dina, love your sweet videos and do a whip mania because as you all know I have some new starts and way too many whips so Dina I am copying you in every way I think I'm going to do nine whips to cover 18 days of 2018 mania and touch each whip for two days. And then on the 19th through the 31st, I would like to do some work on smalls, of which I have several, and I don't think it would take much to finish them. So even though I know you've seen these projects before many times, I would like to go quickly through my order of working so that I have committed to you as well as to myself to work on this. So, let's get started. And again, thank you for watching. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you are an older subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you've not subscribed, just touch that button. Go ahead and subscribe. You'll hear lots of enthusiasm about cross stitch and sometimes a book suggestion or a life story. So, Stitch Mania. The one I'm pulling out first for the first two days is one that needs a finish and that is uh, one of my very favorites and I think a lot of you have enjoyed seeing it and that is Coffee Quaker. Let's see if we can get the front of Coffee Quaker. You see how close. And I think you remember that I found the page that I had lost that will allow me to finish this where it gives I do the things and the rest of the motifs. You remember that I had done a blue conversion on this one. There is a video in which I noted those numbers, if anyone is interested in the blue conversion. And this is a beautiful, beautiful linen I got from Stitch Niche, my local needle workshop. And as I've said, I don't know the name of it, but I want to find out because I think it's one of my favorites. It is a 32 count. So first two days, we're going to do Coffee Quaker. Then the next two days is one of my little kits that I purchased in Scotland at the store that has now gone out of business because the owner retired. It was called Nifty Needles. This kit is called what? Now, the little Westies are trying to put a letter in the letter box. And of course you see the snow and the English countryside. This is a kit that was produced in the UK called Heritage Crafts. And I'm not even sure if I've shown you all this because it got put aside. But this is my start. A little bit of the sky and tree and a little bit of the letter box. Let me see if I can get a little closer. This is done on an 18 count Ada, I believe, white. But I would love to get some stitches in on this. Then the next two days, I would like to come back to my Riolis apples. And if you've watched before, you know I got these kits when Hobby Lobby did a 75% off. And I had to jump in on this one because I'd never stitched on 10 count fabric before. And this has been such a relief for my eyes as well as a delight to stitch. I'm not getting a good picture here. But you can see our basket now has a handle. And we're about finished with some leaves that go on this side of the basket. 
This leaf is finished as you've seen on the other video, but I would love to just keep pushing through with this one. Such fun. Remembering that there are blended colors in this one. If I could just capture for you the beautiful shading. Then, the next two days, I'm going to pull out my long dog sampler called Dankworth. And I never pull this out because I have to have perfect lighting. It is tiny, tiny on linen. I'm doing actually two over one, but this is a 48, 40 count. But Dankworth needs some love. It is one I would just be thrilled to have hanging in our formal living room. The colors are perfect. So another unicorn on the other side and maybe finish that big flower basket in the middle. Again, a beautiful linen from the Stitch Niche. Not sure the color name of that. Then, you'll remember, it's been a while since I've shown this one, the Waisaki kit that was, of course, very old and discontinued, but we found it on eBay. It's called Peaceful Countryside. And I'm not sure why I put this away just because I have stitch itis. I don't know what you'd say. And this, I'm afraid, is a little bit of a mess. But you will see the church is in process. The horse and the little buggy are there and you see the barn and I was working on the road that goes down here as I told you before several other cows the barn I believe is completely yes completely finished so a fun fun project I should just spend those two days on this and see how much I can get done again Charles Wysocki it was a dimensions kit I think saw that. What a mess. Okay, these two days will be very quick and easy. This is another Riolas kit that came in my Hobby Lobby haul, Lilies of the Valley. And excuse the fact that this is in my hoop and in process because I was working on it a little bit last night. Again, the colors are not coming through, but all you can see now are the shades of green, the white, and a little bit of blue in the lilies of the valley. But this should move fairly quickly. We just haven't put a lot of time into it. Love that one, though. Would love to get those other florals. In fact, I'll show you those again. Look at those other florals. Oops, we don't want to show the pattern. Aren't those beautiful? Maybe someday I'll find those for a good price. Several of you have asked about my blue and white Delf. So it must come out on the 13th and 14th. And again, a kit. But because I love blue and white so much, this just called me. And I was working on the windmill square after having finished the borders. This one I'm doing on even weave. Some of you will remember my debate about changing out the fabric from the kit. So, there we are. Most of the border, maybe I'm not quite through. But you see the beginnings of the windmill. And I've talked to you before about how beautiful the detail is in this piece. This is designed by Joan Elliott. So we're not surprised that it is beautifully designed. So we'll get back to that on the 13th and 14th. And we're going to have a stack here at any moment. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I know. I could not find the work I'm doing on Prairie Schooler April. That little piece of blue fabric is tucked in a bag somewhere. And another one I really need to finish. 
But on those two days, the 15th and 16th, I will do one day on that, and then people, nine-year-old grandson, birth sampler, that's embarrassing. I'm pulling this one out on that day, and I don't have a good picture. I am so sorry. Where? Maybe I don't have the picture, but I will show you what I have on the sampler. There we go. His mother has this same sampler done for her that I did years and years ago, of course, in the pinks. And I'm sorry, I'm not showing this very well, but you see the, the heralds announcing the birth and the stork with the precious baby there in the middle. Let me see if I can show you that sweet section. I made his hair the same color that it is. And you see the metallic for their trumpets. So this is a traditional sampler, very old, old pattern. And I will try to find you the name of that. Need to get busy on that white linen, a really nice piece. And you can see that I started this nine years ago because you see the masking tape before I knew better. All right, then on the 17th and 18th, we have two items. I have this Bucilla reproduction sampler and I know I've shown it to you before but I've not had it out of this package since because of so many other things going on. But I do love this design. And of course the colorway is just what I need for my home. Even love the frame shown there, isn't that something? So this will get a little bit of love on 17th and 18th, and this kit included a beige-ish weave and weave. This is all we've done, of course, not much. I would switch out to a linen for this, but sometimes even weave is just so easy to work on. I think it will be beautiful, so I'm sticking with that. Now, for the rest of the month, we will do smalls or We'll hope to do smalls. I brought two to show you that need to be finished very soon so that they will be ready for next Christmas. They are both Mill Hill kits. This one is the Wales Santa. And I know you've seen these so many times. Lots of people working on these. Let me show you where we are. I had started the beading on him. And there's a little bit more of the cross stitch to do, but aren't those the richest, most beautiful colors? I would love to have these hanging on that Christmas tree this year. The Wales Santa. And then the Scott, Scotland Sampler. I think he's a favorite for sure. And he is oh so close. I should be punished for not finishing him long ago. Look how close. Almost through with the Celtic cross. So those smalls will be toward the end of the month. What fun. I hope this goes as well as I want it to. And I thank Dina again for giving me the suggestion. It's what I need to do. I've left whips out of this list because I didn't put my hands on them. So if this is successful, huh, I may have to do another whip mania this summer and think of a different name for it. If I could get some finishes, I could actually get some starts. Have a wonderful beginning to your mania. Let's keep each other up to date on how we're doing and uh, even if we stumble and fall, we can encourage each other. Have a great week as May begins and come back to see me soon. And I look forward to all of your mania updates. 
It is a busy, busy week at work. This is finals week at the college. So I'll be coming in tired at the end of these days, but this will give me something to look forward to, to relax before uh, going to bed and starting all over again. So thank you so much and more update as soon as I can. Take care. Bye-bye.